How are you guys? Happy Friday! <clears throat> Just trying to have a little fun. Uh, whoa, hey, slow down, everybody. Lori, Janice, hang on. Veronica, Jonathan. Getting funky with Cameo. It's Word Up at 94.5 Cool FM. It's an I Love the 80s weekend. You got your code word DUEL, right? D-U-E-L. Make sure you're uh, going to the homepage of the website, coolradio.com, and entering that code word there for your chance to win. We're in Facebook Live right now. Facebook.com slash coolradio. Come on and join us, won't you? Burr, 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 burr. What's up, Cameron? How you doing, Alex? <laughs> I guess there's a little day delay there. All right, how's everybody feeling? Anybody get any good stuff for Valentine's Day? Um, I did take my wife out for wings and a Stella, except we didn't go to Zips. We went to cold beer and cheeseburgers. And uh, when we got there, I wanted to get a Diet Coke, and they said, yeah, um, we don't have any soda. Uh, we have no carbonation. I'm like, wow, that sucks. Um, but what was really cool is uh, they made an effort and went... To Walmart and picked up some cans and poured cans. It just didn't taste right for some reason, but uh, they made the effort, and I, I think that's awesome. That that stuck with me. That's pretty cool. That's good customer service, unlike what we were talking about yesterday, right, folks? Yeah, I know there's a delay, Joe. Little ditty. Uh, all right, so, yes, took the wifey to um, get wings and all that kind of good stuff last night. It was fun. So I had water while she had a Stella and uh, did her thing. What's up, Jeffrey? Nice. Got to love that, Jeffrey. Hey, man, I I'm down. I appreciate you doing that. I make every effort to try to... Embarrass them just a little bit. Hi, Annette. Ba -ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Oh, okay, Kathy. Sorry. Needy. You're like my my Shih Tzu, Harry. He is so needy. Oh my goodness. Like when I'm petting his brother, George, he comes up and starts licking my hand because he wants to get petted. It, uh, needy. Needy! What about me? What about us? Didn't Hart sing that song? What's up, Jared? Man, we got a lot of folks checking in, man. It's cool. I love it. I got it. <laughs> Being a radio DJ is your dream job, Jeffrey? That's cool. I could dig that. 
I always say it. I'm 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 at my dream job. I'm doing my thing. So it's good. All right. Let's see. Today. No, no live feed on President's Day, Joe. Can I get a break every once in a while? Is that cool with you? Can I not work seven days a week? That would be kind of cool. And if there's a holiday, can I, can I, can I just limit it just a little bit, Joe? Please, please. Uh, today is Singles Awareness Day, or Sad Singles Awareness Day. It's sad. Sad for short. Um. They say that the day after Valentine's Day is where we're all supposed to focus on our single friends, okay? Uh, and uh, so that they don't have to spend next Valentine's Day alone. Sorry, Joe. I'll argue that I will argue to the death on that one. Uh, so if the singles want some help, according to a new survey, 90% of them say that they don't like being single, but most of them don't actively wish that they had a significant other, or at least they won't admit that they do which is fine. Only 13% of single men say they wish they had a girlfriend and only 6% of single women say they wish they had a boyfriend. Is what it is. I can dig it. Written by Charlie, what happened? <laughs> what is that? Sarah's in here. All right. I got a lot of folks to say hi to here. Sarah. I'm just going through the list here. I got Jonathan. Veronica. Veronica. I'm missing Bob Seeger tonight. Okay. Yep, it's the show. <sighs> Ryan. Isn't that a Canadian thing? Sweetest day or whatever that is. All right, 60 seconds, I'm going to go on and give a shout out to all you folks, nail it out here on a Friday. You know, my wife does that, she, my wife called me at 3.27 when I looked at the clock. I'm headed home. Oh, okay, thank you, that's good, good to know. And she's like, what are the plans? I go, I have no idea. For once, I really don't have any plans. I know one thing I have to do, and here's the update. I'll tell you in 20 seconds. <coughs> La Isla Bonita. Que on the way. Ninety four point five Kool Aid Fam. It's an I love the eighties weekend. Lots of folks checking in on Facebook Live right now. I've got Lori, Janice, Veronica, Jonathan, Joe, Mark, Amina, Cameron, Alex, Jeffrey, Annette, Kathy, Jared, Sarah, Veronica, Ryan. The list goes on. Where are you? Is the question. We're chopping shop about what's going on this weekend. Talking about Valentine's Day yesterday. Oh, it's Queen now. It's Kool Aid Fam. Yeah, let's go. All right. More of a Midwest thing. Yeah, you know, because I heard it. I heard that I'm, you know, uh, Brucey out there shoveling snow, foot and a half. Man, I don't miss it. I don't miss it. <laughs> That's funny. So, update on my vehicle. This is crazy. Calls me this morning. Hey there, partner. Your, truck's, your, your car's done. I'm like, thanks. I'm working until 7 p.m. tonight after you close, so I'll be in tomorrow morning. Okay. Like, nothing. I mean, like, seriously. They, they didn't even call me to tell me the part was in. I mean, like, 
Oh my gosh. I can hardly wait till this fiasco is over. So go in there tomorrow, write the check and get out. Valentine's Day every day? Oh, Annette, it would lose its luster, I think. I think it's Valentine's Day every day anyway if you're happy in your relationship. Why not, right? I don't need a day. It's Valentine's Day every day. It's corny to say, I guess, isn't it? Anyways. All right, uh, so that was uh, Singles Awareness Day. Sad. Um, so, did you get a bunch of chocolate? How old is my vehicle? Uh, it's a, I think it's a, I think it's a 2006. Um, but here's the story. It's a Mercury, and it was my grandmother's car, and it only has 42,000 miles on it. So, that's just, like, she never drove it that much. So, I mean, I got this car, when I got it, it had 17,000 miles on it. So it's, it hasn't been like driven into the dirt whatsoever. So if it had 150,000 miles on it, I'd be like, yeah, man, that's crazy. Yeah. No, see, you're just seeing the neck up, Maverick. <laughs> it's not time for a new car. No, you don't understand the you don't understand the uh, idea of being in debt. You don't need a new car. This one's paid for. Hey, if I paid two grand to get it fixed, I can pay two grand in a couple months, which is better than paying four or five hundred dollars for the next seven years uh, every month. That's crazy. So the idea. Oh yeah, it, it is a cruiser. My, it, I call it the boat. And every time I park, we have to drop the anchor. It's crazy. And then my wife has the little Kia that I call a golf cart. And then uh, my daughter's car is an Optima. And uh, that uh, has a gazillion miles on it, too. Uh, not so much sentimental value. I mean, it's just, I mean, it's a good car. I mean, what? All I need to do is point A to point B. I don't need to impress one single person at all. In fact, everybody who gets in it likes being in it. And I've even had a couple of people, one person at a Fulton Homes remote I was doing, oh no, I'm sorry, a Lennar Homes remote that I was doing, uh, asked me if I wanted to sell it. And I'm like, um, not really. <laughs> it's just, so it's just a good car. Um, I, I like driving, it's real comfortable. Uh, payments, yeah. Yeah, I'm telling you, man, no car payments are awesome. I am paying off my daughter's car, but I'm paying it off very quickly. So I'm making a bunch of sacrifices to pay off her car. I'm doing that because my parents took care of my first car. Actually, my first couple of cars. Um, but uh, it's one of those things so yeah and, and grandma's stuff is still in the car like the little pins the little Jesus pins and all that kind of stuff all that stuff is still in the car because I drive her to get groceries and it's like it's still her car it's just under my name and I'm paying the insurance and all the maintenance and all that kind of stuff she she can't see that well anymore so she should not be driving so I kind of like took that from her um, but uh, yeah, so, and I'm paying her off in groceries. Is that fair? Um, so did you get a bunch of chocolate for Valentine's Day? Don't throw that stuff away. Don't let it go by the wayside because chocolate is actually good for you. I know there's sugar in it and all that kind of stuff, but it's how you do it. In fact, they say that uh, chocolate, if you suck, like, take, see, say you take a Hershey's Kiss and you just suck on the Hershey's Kiss if you have a cough, it will do better things for your throat than, say, taking cough medicine. That's what they say. Um, my wife tried it, and she said it worked for her. My daughter said it didn't work for me, and then we said, well, did you eat it or did you suck on it? She goes, I ate it. 
but you can't, you gotta suck on it. So apparently the um, things in cocoa help out your uh, throat. So there's a little tip for you. Um, chocolate has nutrition, uh, high quality dark chocolate, like you're saying there, Joe, is uh, with high cocoa content can actually be pretty nutritious. Now here's the deal. There's that sweet chocolate that everybody loves, right? The Hershey's Kiss. But then there's these other types of chocolates. And actually, when I was in Santa Fe, New Mexico for a trip for the radio station, we did a chocolate tour, tour of a chocolate factory, and they had the discs of the different cocoa chocolates. And when you get up to this high concentrate, it's really kind of bitter, and it doesn't really taste very well at all. You know it's chocolate, but it just, ooh, it's kind of, ooh, it's like, it's like chewing on a coffee seed, you know what I mean? Um, it's got antioxidants, which is good. It can make you feel better, good for your cough. Um, it's good for your heart. Eating chocolate has been shown to reduce levels of bad cholesterol um, and raise the levels of good cholesterol. So that doesn't mean go out to Walmart today and buy your bag of Hershey Kisses and start slamming those down. Um, and it also, uh, your brain benefits from it as well. Um, Harvard Medical School, found that two cups of hot chocolate a day helped improve blood flow to certain parts of the brain. Um, and they believe that uh, chocolate could help in fighting some diseases like Alzheimer's. Who knows? I like it a lot. Um, oh, did you hear? Not sure if you heard. I'm jazzed, and I'm going to look for it. McDonald's is bringing back, has brought back, it is back, the Shamrock Shake. Ooh, 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 ooh. Shamrock Shakes are back, folks. Here's how you find out if they're where you are. If you have the McDonald's app, and I'm sure it's free on iTunes or whatever it is, you can type in your zip code and it will drop pins as to where and which locations have the Shamrock Shake. I'd hate for you to go down the street to your local Mickey D's and go, hey man, guy on the radio said Shamrock Shakes are back. What's up, man? And they go, no, I'm not yet. Next week, get the McDonald's app and find out for sure where they're at first. Uh, but the shake is back. I'm excited. It reminds me specifically of this one time when I was a young kid. I want to say maybe eight, nine, ten, something like that. My mom took me to the dentist. And it was the dentist where you got to spit in the bowl. And I had a bad, I had a cavity or something like that. I, or, or is it just, and it's like, ugh, you just feel awful. And my mom took me to get a shamrock shake. It's my first time I ever, ever had a shamrock shake. So every year I get, grab one. Hang on. <clears throat> Are you ready for it? Six o'clock safety dance coming up in about 10 minutes. Stand by. Billy Idol, it's Moni Moni on Cool FM. Um, so that always reminds me of uh, my mom taking me to the dentist and then taking me to McDonald's to uh, take me to the dentist again because I got another cavity because of all the sugar and the shake. Anyways, anyways. But the Shamrock Shake is back! Um, Alright, birthdays. Today, birthdays, Saturday birthdays, and Sunday birthdays because we're getting in the weekend, right? So today, birthdays, Alex Bornstein... Borstein, she's the voice of uh, Lois uh, on Family Guy. She's 48. Uh, Christopher McDonald. Who the heck is Christopher McDonald? Remember Happy Gilmore? And remember the asshole Shooter McGavin? Um, well, that's who that is. Christopher McDonald. He's 64 today. Matt Groening. Uh, he's the creator of The Simpsons. He's 65. Jane Seymour is 68. And Chris Farley. Um, he passed away in uh, 1997, but his birthday today too. So uh, tomorrow, Saturday, I love this. Andy Taylor from Duran Duran. He's 58. John McEnroe, the tennis player, that was over the line. And I love watching McEnroe back in the day. I remember those matches with Bjorn Borg and uh, um, uh, what's the other guy? I, his name was just in my head. Uh, anyways, John McEnroe is 60 today. Uh, Ice-T, 61. LeVar Burton, Jordy LaForge, he's 62. James Ingram, oh, just passed away. Um, it was his birthday today. And then Sonny Bono's birthday, birthday today as well. 
Uh, on Sunday, the big birthdays, Jimmy Connors, that was the other tennis player. Sunday, Ed Sheeran, he's 28. Paris Hilton's 38. Uh, Jerry O'Connell, 45. Billy Joe Armstrong from uh, Green Day, he's 47. Denise Richards is 48. Michael Bay, the director, all the Transformers movies, he is uh, 54. Michael Jordan is 56. Lou Diamond Phillips, awesome. La Bamba, come on now, 57. Rene Russo, 65. And Jim Brown, the former running back for the Browns, is 83. Q&A, what do we got, folks? Andy Taylor, absolutely, man. John rocked. Yeah, man. Sorry, just uh, scrolling back here. Who's never had a shamrock shake? Oh, I've never had a smartphone. <laughs> Brucey. Hey, you know what? I'm going to tell you one thing right now. We just celebrated our traffic director upstairs, the guy who's responsible for making sure the commercials play in the right places and all that kind of stuff. His name's Terry. Um, I love Terry. I've worked with him at another uh, company and, and again here. Celebrated his 12th anniversary here today. Terry doesn't have a mobile, mobile phone. <laughs> Yeah, go figure, right? So if you've never had a smartphone, you're not missing anything. If you still have a flip phone, uh, Brucey, my goodness, it, it hurts the text on that. Oh, let's see. <laughs> you guys are killing me. It's great. Joe's never had a sh shamrock shake. Joe, you're missing life. You gotta go find one. Get a shamrock shake. Am I the only one who does Facebook Live at the radio station? Um, yeah, uh, I think. Uh, every once in a while, Marie and Chad will do something in the morning. Uh, same thing. Um, but they don't. I don't think they do it on a daily basis. Uh, so, it's only me right now. Okay, Alex. Good night. I'll be back tomorrow at two. No Facebook Live on, on Monday, Alex. We'll do Facebook Live on Tuesday, 5.30. But you are amazing, and have a great weekend. Um, God, you guys go, you need to go have a shamrock shake. But do me a favor, do it old school, okay? Because now McDonald's is putting like whipped cream and a cherry on top of it. Ugh, oh, that's awful. Just have the shake, okay? Uh, just have the shake, and you'll be fine. Thank you, Alex. Um, you gotta, you gotta go grab one, man. Oh, I can hardly wait. Maybe that I'll try to find something this weekend. Just gotta find a good McDonald's to go to because I'm. Oh, see, they're they're spotty at best, man. Forget something in the order, or they're just slow. I do have a flip phone, a retired, don't need a smartphone, love your stuff. Thank you, Brucey. Enjoy your flip phone. I'm not mad at you. I would do the same thing. <laughs> have a great weekend. Oh, my goodness. we got to get Buddy Scott on these things, buddy. That would be fun. Just the shake, yep. Say goodbye to that whipped cream and they, like don't put that crap on there. I don't want any of that stuff on there. Cool. <laughs> Q and A. What do you got, folks? I got the final thought of the night for you here in a couple minutes, and uh, then I got to get into the mix. So. Uh... Are you asking me what's one food I've never tried? Um, there's a lot of foods I have never tried. I mean, I don't know. I don't think I'm ever going to try that fish that they serve that could kill you, but like you take a chance every time you eat it. It's some Japanese 
delicacy that if they don't get all the whatever off of it, it could kill you. And yeah, I won't ever try that. So how about that? <laughs> Cheese and bacon fries. You betcha, Annette. Hey, man, anything to just slow down your heart rate to stoppage. Think about how crazy our food habits are, right? Like all the crap that's good that's good for you doesn't taste all that great or you got to find it or acquire the taste for it but all the all the stuff that you love like i just posted on the facebook so when you get done with the uh when we get done here in a couple minutes right before this i posted the hidden valley ranch national pizza day hidden valley ranch that has pizza flavor in the ranch like if, I think they're trying to figure out a way for me to just do shots of that stuff instead of having it with anything, right? Oh my goodness. And then to find the right ranch, like I asked the girl at Zips when I went earlier in the week with my daughter, I said, can you tell me exactly, like go back in the kitchen, write down on a piece of paper what exactly you're using for ranch dressing and it was a powder and they make it with you know with the mayo and everything and it's just oh. so now I got to talk to the chef who makes it you know because I can buy the powder but I need the right ranch anyways favorite song of all time I have too many favorite songs um, I know one song that I love a lot is uh, feels good by Tony 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 um, so that's something that I would always like to listen to. Um, when in Rome, The Promise is one of my favorites. I just have so many favorites. There's so many amazing songs, and it's hard for me to pick my favorite. Yeah, we are not doing rant shots, I'll tell you that, though. Brucey, have a great weekend, buddy. Stay safe out there. Don't, don't uh, get stuck in the snow, all right? Uh, Brucey's up there in La Crosse, Wisconsin. It's where I went to college, and and uh, I worked with Brucey back at uh, Hit 105 in La Crosse, Wisconsin. Uh, um, he was one of those guys that we all looked up to in the building and, and, and spent a lot of time with. And uh, he's still out there in La Crosse, and um, just a great dude, just a great, great dude, funny guy, and he was a great on-air personality, and just really cool. So it's cool that he's checking in. That's why I'm getting all sentimental. Anything by Santana? Sure. Absolutely. Okay. Depends on what it is. Uh, Prince is one of my favorites. Yeah, I'm getting there too, Cameron. Diet time. And just to just to kind of point something out to you, Cameron, you've been on a diet every day of your life. It's just what kind of foods you eat in your diet. So it's not rocket science. <laughs> I love it. Hey Marty, don't don't threaten us. You can go to our intercom website. We got some stuff up there, man. You can check it out, man. You got the turtle shell cost headphones, I'm sure you do. I'll try that, Annette. I think that sounds good. I don't know if I would make it with sour cream, though. That's just me. All right, guys. Going to be jumping in the mix here. Um, you can keep commenting on here. I read all the comments uh, when I'm when I'm off of here, so uh, keep them coming in. Have an amazing three-day weekend. I'll be back on the air tomorrow at 2 p.m. And then... Um, I'll be back on again for my show on Monday, but it's going to be like a weekend type show. There won't be any safety dance or anything like that in there. So, um, and that, of course, that's 3 p.m. Final thought of the night today is uh, make today so awesome. Yesterday gets jealous. That's it, man. Just have an amazing day. Make every day better. Every day is another opportunity to be better than you are today. And uh, do me a favor. Be kind always. 
Uh, be kind always. Help somebody out, all right? Have a great weekend, guys. Love you. See ya.